Question 11 then from paper 1 of the 2014 National 5. What have we got? Equation of a line. Ask first of all, what's the gradient of the line? Well, for two marks. The only way you explicitly see the gradient of a line is when it's written in the form of y equals mx plus c. It's a very useful form of it because you can use it in substitutions, but you can see graphically what it looks like. That's the gradient. That gives it slope, and the number at the end is where it starts on the vertical on the y-axis. So that's no use. I'd have to rearrange it to look like that. So that means I only want to keep the y here. I don't want that 4x. It'll have to go across as minus 4x, but write it first to get it in this order. And the 12 stays a plus 12. And then the 3 is now going to go across and divide, or you can just say divide everything by 3. So it'll be minus 4 upon 3x, and 12 over 3 is 4. And then you can pick it out. Now I know that the gradient is the coefficient of x. What's multiplying it? Negative 4 upon 3. And the marks here were, knowing that you had to rearrange it, but not for the full rearrangement, the first mark was just to start it off, and then the second mark was to know that you have to divide to get just y on its own, and pick out the coefficient. Now this was again was one of those questions, but you have to be careful, I'd still put working down, where if you just stated that, you'd have got 2 out of 2. B. Find the coordinates of the point where this line crosses the x-axis. Well, don't need a sketch of the line, just putting it in anyway. For illustration purposes, so this line actually, this tells you exactly what it looks like. It cuts at 4, and it's got a gradient of negative 4 upon 3. Now you can interpret that two ways. You could do just what it says, distance up over distance along, which means for 3 along, you go down 4. So the line would look like this. Or you could say, if that's the gradient, for each step along, you drop four thirds. But the question says, where did it cut the x-axis? Now, where does it cut? That's a point. That point's got two coordinates. That's the equation for the coordinates. Or, that's the equation for the coordinates. That'd be better. There's no fractions in it. But you can only find one of them if you know the other. One equation, one unknown. So that means I can only find this point on the x-axis if I already know one of those numbers. And you do. If you're on the x-axis, you can know height. Y is zero. Usually you make that statement. Don't mind about that. X-axis means y is zero. So putting it into the equation. 4x plus 3 times nothing is 12. Well, that's just zero. So x will be 12 divided by 4. So they are x is 3. Put them together so it cuts at the point 3, 0. So that'd be the first statement, knowing that y is 0, so that mark was here. And then finish it off, but it wasn't just find x, you actually had to write it properly like this to get the second mark. Again, this one gave you those two marks just for stating 3, 0. But if you just wrote x equals 3, you'd only get 1.